Welcome to Ambus Hobbies. In this video, we're delving into the world of the abstract factory design pattern in Java. The abstract factory is a sophisticated creational design pattern that provides an interface for creating families of related or dependent objects without specifying their concrete classes. In this video, we'll explore the principles behind the abstract factory, its applications, and provide you with a comprehensive Java example along with a UML diagram. The abstract factory is a powerful creational design pattern. It's designed to address the challenge of creating families of related objects without specifying their exact classes. This pattern provides an abstract interface for creating various product objects, while allowing concrete factories to implement specific families of products. The abstract factory pattern consists of several key components. Abstract factory interface, this interface declares a set of creation methods for various product types. Concrete factories, these are concrete classes that implement the abstract factory interface to create specific families of products. Abstract product interfaces, these interfaces declare methods that concrete products must implement. Concrete products, these are the specific product classes that implement the abstract product interfaces. In our Java example, we've set up an abstract factory scenario for creating furniture. We define abstract product interfaces for chair and sofa with creation methods. We have concrete product classes like Victorian chair and modern sofa that implement these interfaces. We've introduced an abstract factory interface furniture factory with methods for creating chair and sofa. Concrete factories Victorian furniture factory and modern furniture factory implement this interface to create specific furniture. To create furniture, you use a concrete factory and it provides you with a family of related products. While the abstract factory pattern is powerful, it's essential to be aware of common pitfalls. 1. Complex factory hierarchy. As your system grows, the hierarchy of factories can become complex. Avoid creating overly intricate structures. 2. High maintenance. Adding new product families may require changes to multiple concrete factories, potentially leading to high maintenance. 3. Inflexibility. The pattern can be less flexible if you need to add new products or families frequently. 4. Design complexity. The pattern may lead to complex designs if not applied carefully. The abstract factory design pattern in Java is a sophisticated tool for creating related object families. By understanding its principles and using it effectively, you can design flexible and maintainable software. Stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials and subscribe to Anbus Hobbies for future updates.